good morning my friends and happy Thursday. It's the something of April. So today I'm feeling a lot better than what I have been over the last couple of days. The energy is very slowly coming back again and uh, my motivation to sew is like it's here and it's ready to go so we're riding it. Today I'm going to be working on another spoon block. Yesterday I managed to finish another one and I shared it on Instagram if you saw it. It is this one. How good did that turn out? I am so happy with it. This green solid is to die for. I wish I knew what colour it was. It's a solid colour from the range at Spotlight. But I don't know what the colour is called but it's really pretty and it just goes so well. I absolutely loved sewing with this Melody Miller Viewfinder print. It's just so soft and beautiful to work with. So I'm really happy with how that worked out. And today we are working on another Melody Miller print and this is the typewriter print. Yesterday I did start the half square triangle, so I just have to trim them up and then move on to doing flying geese and then piecing all the units together and then making the actual finalized swoon. So I think in my ever predictable self, I'm going to pop on some good music and just chill out and trim up some half square triangles and just get into finishing this block. new my friends and happy Wednesday it's the 13th of April I believe and I hope you're all doing well we are all doing a lot better since I last spoke to you if you didn't see my last vlog then you will not know that we all got COVID so for the last like two weeks we've sort of been battling along and uh yeah, just trying to shake it off. But we're all doing a lot better now and uh, it's it's nice not to be like feeling crap. <laughs> I still do get sort of like plagues of tiredness and, and leth leth lethargy? Yeah, feeling lethargic. Usually by the afternoon sometimes I'll be like, I am so exhausted but it's getting better. It's not as bad as it was last week. But since I last left you, I have finished another swoon block. I was starting to do the one with the typewriters on it and I am actually really happy with how it worked out. I was initially like, as I was piecing it, thinking it's, I don't, it's not gonna look good. I think it's gonna like be too, I don't know, like messy or I, I don't know. I just wasn't thinking it was going to look good. But now that I pieced it all together and I've stepped back from it, I'm really happy with it. So I'm going to show you. Oh, slow reveal. There it is. Ta-da! How good does it look? I really, really like it. I thought because it was such a big print, I was going to really lose, like, what it the print is all about. But I think it works. I like that the typewriter is in the center. I like that it's like off center. And then I also like how like the typewriter buttons kind of give it like movement. And uh, yeah, just sort of attract your eye all over it. So happy days. I'm really happy with that one. So now I'm moving on to the next one. And the next one that I'm doing is one that I'm actually really looking forward to. I think it's gonna look really great. And it's with this print here. And I am matching it with the really bright orangey green fluoro. Oh, I just think it's going to look so good. And just like so bright and like totally opposite to this one here. This is the like sister fabric of this one or sister print. Yeah, I think it's just going to be like so contrasting. That one's like all dark and moody and this one's going to be like bright and in your face. So the half square triangle pieces, squares, are... Uh, on my sewing machine ready to be stitched through but I think I'll leave that for another day uh, because now I have a hankering to do some hexies I'm going to make some more 
smaller hexi flowers. Main reason being is that today I finally put up some things on my Etsy shop. I've been wanting to put some stuff on there for ages and I finally pulled my finger out and got it done today. So I managed to put up on sale the tea towels that I recently done. So the one with the flowers in the jar, the little T-Rex and weapons of choice and there's a cupcake one and then I've also got a couple of little wallets on there as well and then I've also been making some little hexi flower coaster sets so here is a little hexi flower coaster set all packaged up and ready to go to the person that buys it it is a set of four and here is one that I have on my desk so it's just hexi flower that I've sewn together and then on the back there is like a slip resistance sort of felt backing on it it's a really hard rigid felt with the little rubber dots on it to stop it from moving um, but it's a perfect size for a coaster so this is my water bottle and it just sort of sits perfectly in that sort of like little flower so I have this on my desk I just think it's a really great little addition of like color and print on my table and it's just so much prettier than a boring stainless steel coaster you know so i have three sets so far made and if you'd like one then they are available on my etsy shop well good afternoon my friends and happy wednesday it's the 20th of april today and i hope you're doing well i hope you all had a lovely easter it's so strange that we're already up to the part of the year where Easter has come and gone. It's just crazy. We had a really lovely Easter. The weather was like perfect and we caught up with family and had a picnic and ate lots of chocolate <laughs> um, and yeah just had a really lovely weekend. Now I sound like a bit of a broken record with this but I'm sorry for my lack of vlogs recently. I, I don't know, I've just been in a bit of a funk you know and just finding it really hard to like get out of it. Um, even before I had COVID um, I was in a bit of a funk and just sort of been struggling with motivation and just doing things but every day I'm trying to sort of wade myself through it and uh, find some sort of inspiration <laughs> so it's been a really lovely day today lovely and sunny beautiful like autumnal weather um, because here in Australia at this time of the year we are in the middle of autumn and we will be going into winter very soon so yeah it's been really nice to have nice bright sunny days and it not be raining because all through summer it has just rained and rained and rained and so yeah it's nice to finally have a little bit of sunshine but this afternoon I'm going to just chill out and do some sewing I haven't done any sewing in quite a while like two weeks or so I just like I said I've just been in my funk and I just haven't gotten out of it I just haven't had any motivation to do any sewing it's all just sitting there on my sewing desk waiting for me to come back to it and the swim block that I'm going to be starting is one that I'm actually really quite excited about so I don't know why I don't want to do it it's just I don't know I just can't find the you know the to want to do it you know but this afternoon I've got a little bit of a rekindle a little bit of a spark of inspiration and so we're gonna grab it and see where it takes us. I've just walked into my sewing room and look who is taking up all the space. Hello. What you doing? Look at the tail wagging. You're in the way my love. I want to do some sewing. Oh you sleepy boy. I want to do some sewing my love. You're in the way. I'm going to have to work around you aren't I? Oh goodness. So the next swim that I'm going to be working on is as I said one that I've been really looking forward to making but I just haven't made it. <laughs> it's this one with this print here. So I've had a whole bunch of half square triangles just sitting on my sewing machine just waiting for me to start. Um, they've been sitting there for like a week and a half <laughs> and I just just haven't had 
the enthusiasm to sew them together. But we're going to do these right now. We're going to do, as I always do, a nice little montage of me making some half square triangles. Let's do some sewing. Wait, I've got to put some good music on. triangles are all done I squared them up and everything I usually don't do that straight away but I did it today I'm just taking a break for a second because I realized today I bought something that I've been meaning to buy for a very long time so I can display something that I bought again a very, very long time ago and I actually kind of forgot about it and then I saw this thing this thing it is a plate and bowl stand today and I realized that I had a very special plate that I want to display and I didn't have anything to display it on and I found this today and I'm like I'm gonna get it so I can display my very special plate oh it's stuck to me get off I'm not sure whether I've actually shared this special purchase before maybe in a Disney haul I did some time ago I'm not sure but um, oh, it's so cool it is a very sweet Mickey Mouse plate that I got from shop Disney it's a plate that I'll never use because it's a special Mickey Mouse plate but I do want to display it I'm just gonna cut this little tag off now I think I got a stand that's big enough for it. They had lots of different sizes and I couldn't remember what size the plate was so I was just like just get the biggest one and hope for the best. <laughs> oh yeah it's perfect. Oh my gosh it's really good. It's perfect. Oh ta-da! It is like the perfect size. Yeah! So I recently rejiggled all of my shelves because I received this new pop Cinderella thing for the Disney 50th as well as the Philharmonic Mickey as well as some of the other art ones down there and the soda pops so I had to rearrange everything because I couldn't fit anything so I'm not sure where to where to put it there's a little bit of a space here next to all my Harry Potter ones I don't want to block anything and there's no room up there and there's no room up there <laughs> I think it might have to go in this little space here. Okay, this is what we've ended up with. I moved this castle up on top of Dumbo and Minnie Mouse and I put the plate on top of my limited edition Jared Maruyama mug and coaster. And it's quite safe up there, it's not wobbly or anything. And then I've just got my Brudo, Minnie and Mickey in front of it. And I ended up putting my Winnie the Pooh down here in front of all my Harry Potters. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that now. That looks really good. Well, good morning my friends and happy Sunday. It's the 24th of April today and I hope you're all doing well. Today I've decided to pull out my beautiful embroidery machine and do a little bit of embroidering. I have these four little napkins here and I have recently bought like a tiny little like bee design from Urban Threads and I'm going to embroider it onto the corner of like each napkin and then once they're done I'm going to pop them on my Etsy store and 
sell them. So hopefully all will go well and I'll be able to pop it up soon. So I just have to choose my colours and uh, see how things go. It's a pattern that I haven't used before but I think it, it will turn out because Urban Threads have really great uh, embroidery patterns so I don't think I will be disappointed so I'm gonna pull everything out choose my colors and get to making and see how they go and there it is our cute tiny little bee how sweet is it I'm gonna put my little snips next to it so you can kind of see the scale of it but it is tiny and super cute and I'm really happy with the placement as well I think that's perfect so I got another three to go until the set is complete okay my friends I am going to end the vlog here I think this vlog has like expanded over the last maybe three weeks or so so I think I better end it and uh, move on to a, a, a new one. All of my little bee napkins that I was doing today are all finished and I absolutely love them. Turned out really really well and I have just done all of the like photography for it. I'm not sure whether I'll get the time to put them up on Etsy today but I definitely will tomorrow so be on the lookout for that. If you do want to visit my Etsy store and just check out what's in there then the link is in the description box below. So I'm going to say goodbye and leave you with some footage from Friday. On Friday my parents and I went into the city and we went to the New South Wales Art Gallery. I haven't been there in so long and it was nice to sort of get in touch with my cultural side and and uh, have a look at some beautiful paintings and things and then in the evening we went and saw a production of the phantom of the opera in the botanic gardens so it was all outdoors and we had the city and the opera house and the harbour bridge in the background it was amazing the production was like fantastic costumes are insane the only downfall was that it was raining pretty much all of friday it just rained and rained and rained so we sat outside with our ponchos on and watched the phantom of the opera outside in the rain it was truly a wonderful experience even though the rain was not ideal yeah the production was just fantastic so i will leave you with all of the footage i took of that enjoy you'll see a little bit of the city and a little bit of the art gallery and then a very small snippet of us at the phantom of the opera so thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you all again sometime very very soon bye, -bye. <laughs>